abandoned residence on kilometer 78 of the route between Havana and Pinar del Rio in San Cristobal has been there for over 20 years. People are certain that it stays empty because it is a haunted house, explains National Omnibus Company driver Gilberto Espinosa, who has driven Havana Pinar for over 20 years. It's a good house with a masonry roof, but no one dares live there, says Pinar del Rio resident Carlos Trujillo, who often visits Havana. The abandoned house legend is so widespread in Western Cuba that most people have heard it, notwithstanding its absurdity. This Cuban house has been abandoned for a long time, indicating that many are against it. Housing is a national problem. They say hearing voices and knocking things over at night is cursed. An abandoned residence on kilometer 78 of the route between Havana and Pinar del Rio in San Cristobal has been there for over 20 years. People are certain that it stays empty because it is a haunted house, explains National Omnibus Company driver Gilberto Espinosa, who has driven Havana Pinar for over 20 years. It's a good house with a masonry roof, but no one dares live there, says Pinar del Rio resident Carlos Trujillo who often visits Havana. The abandoned house legend is so widespread in Western Cuba that most people have heard it, notwithstanding its absurdity. It transcends travelogue. A farmer at kilometer 78 on the other side of the expressway, Lazaro Abreu, claims, they say that you can see lights, that the beds move, and that the pans fall down. An abandoned, physically sound, enormous house seems suspicious even without superstitions, particularly in a location where hundreds of people have lost their houses to storms. Lazaro had always heard the house had no electricity or means to acquire it. Additional cottages with electricity are 200 meters down the road, and many larger Cuban rural houses have generators. Someone stole the woodwork, tile, and bathroom suite from its three bedrooms, living room, dining room, kitchen, and bathroom. Recent renovations left half-finished plastering, as if someone began, then stopped. Despite years of neglect, it seems strong and dry. According to farmer Lazaro Abreu across the expressway, Juan El Colorao died at an ancient age. All succeeding residents left. Fear makes people see things, says Lazaro. In 48 years of walking these areas in the morning, I've never felt anything strange. Even my house protects me from storms. Neither did old Juan seem worried about the spirits under the roof. I remember that he would go out to play dominoes and come back all the same at one or three in the morning, Lazaro says. I know these things have happened, but Juan was never terrified, so maybe he heard them and slept.